There is no right way to do Lindy Hop. Anything goes. You take your classes, you learn some kind of basic fundamentals, and then you're off, and you and you just come up with anything that's you know gonna be cooler than what you did yesterday. And just kind of drop down a little bit, bend your legs. And when you do that touch, just bring the foot to the back a little bit. When you touch, you just bring your hands back. Get a little, get a little groove to it. Bop, two, touch, step. Cool. Easy, right? Just from the simple, I'm nervous about dancing, to I'm down here, all right? I heard that saying about jazz music, it's like, there's no wrong notes, only perhaps a poor choice. Well, the same thing is true in Lindy Hop. So you can do it any way you want to do it, and no one's ever going to tell you that it's wrong. But if you do it really good, people will give you lots of attention. You don't need a partner to go swing dancing at a place like this or, or wherever because the swing scene, the people are just so friendly, you can show up without anybody and they'll just they'll start dancing with you. The community at the swing places are so accepting and they, they dance with everybody and it's not like you don't dance if you don't have a partner and it's even more fun without a partner because you get to meet so many people. Five, six, a five, six, here we go. Two and a half Charlestons, ha, ha. Into the kick through, boom, ha, kick through, ha, boom, ba, kick through, ha, boom, ha, back to Charleston, forward, back, and rock, step, kick, kick, kick. Awesome. Let's go ahead and thank this partner, follows, rotate. I'm just starting to kind of get a taste of it, and I'm really enjoying myself, so I would definitely recommend it to anybody that wants to try it. It's, it's a great way to just have fun and meet people and get a good workout, so. Well, it only costs five dollars to go dancing, and usually you get three hours of dancing for five dollars, which costs much less than going to a movie, and much less than going to a gym. People ask what I do for exercise, and I always say, why well, lift weights when you can lift women? <laughs> a lot of times we think about dancing, we think about my feet have to get somewhere, they have to be in a certain spot on the floor. And it's easier than that. Because if I get my foot there, that doesn't do me much good if my body's still hanging out over here. So I don't care where your feet go, as long as they're underneath you. You can ask anybody to dance, and no one's just gonna give you like the cold shoulder. As soon as you come to a dance and you see the wide variety of different levels of ability of all the people on the dance floor, if you feel like you've got, like, I've got no coordination, I've got no balance, then, uh, you're gonna see right away that like, there's a whole lot of people who are coming from the same place and they get there. If you're interested in it, aside from all those other concerns that you might have, if you're interested in it, if it looks like fun, then try it, because you can do it, anybody can do it. Mm -hmm.